Hey guys, welcome to the Easter Jeep Safari and check it out. We are here driving concept vehicles. And this is a really cool one. It's by JPP, Jeep Performance Parts, and it's called Departure. And it's got a whole bunch of cool aftermarket parts that at some point might actually go into production. So we're gonna do a video. We're gonna show you something really cool up front here. And we want to thank our friends at Onyx Off-Road because they make a lot of this possible. So if you're ever lost on trail, check out Onyx Off-Road where you can actually download the map and never get lost. So, Tommy, let's go take it for a ride. Hey, Tommy, what do you think of uh, the color? I love this color. Uh, Jeep calls it Dark Harbor. It's kind of this really deep sea blue. Yeah, I think like a dark blue has been missing from the Wrangler lineup for quite some time. And it's really nice. It's got a little bit of green in it, almost like a per uh, teal but it's a really great color on this Jeep Wrangler JL departure concept. Yeah, so this is uh, a vehicle, as you said, uh, that basically shows off some of the coolest uh, Jeep performance parts. So if you guys are looking to upgrade uh, your Jeep, uh, this is you know a showcase for all the coolest stuff. And I think uh, when we stop up here, I wanna show you something really, really cool uh, that the bull bar does. Yeah, really cool. And I think a lot of the parts on this Jeep too are Parts that are maybe not quite in production yet, but parts that they are looking at building. So it's kind of a test bed to get um, you know, your reactions, to get reaction from the Jeep community to see whether or not it's something Mopar and JPP should put into production. But this is a Wrangler JL, and it's a 4xe, so it's a plug-in hybrid. Do you want to put it in EV mode? I will. I'm putting it in electric mode, which is going to give us silent running. Yeah, really cool. And that means that we can just enjoy this incredible Moab scenery without the noise of that little four-cylinder babbling along. But some cool things in this Jeep. So we've got these tube doors. Tube doors are so highly underrated. Um, you know, people go doorless or, or even the half doors. But I like the tube door because it makes it feel like you get a little bit more kind of safety to grab onto here. But uh, it feels a lot more open air than a full door. And we've got these mirrors, which look pretty similar to like TJ mirrors. But I could be just going off the deep end here. Um, Really cool that Harbor Blue is continued onto the dashboard. We got the big three light bars on the roof and all electric running right now. Yeah, it's funny, you know, we're, we're driving all these concepts here. And if you guys want to go check out um, more of the concepts, just go to all TFL. But I think Jeep is really, I'm going to say quadruple down on electric vehicles because many of them are the four by E's, right? The hybrid Jeeps. Yeah, and I have to say, and I've said it before, I'll say it again. This is the lift kit to, to use on your Wrangler. You know, the, uh, the, the Jeep in-house lift kit's a little bit more expensive than some of the competition, but it performs so incredibly well. It's one of the few vehicles that you can lift and actually get a, see an improvement in ride quality from a damping standpoint, from a comfort standpoint. It's just, it's just the dream. So I love this lift kit, definitely worth the money. You're, you're absolutely right, because the issue always is like the second you lift your vehicle and you do it aftermarket, you start to really mess with the geometry of the drivetrain, of you know the suspension, and inevitably it makes a better off-road, but it makes it worse on-road. Yeah, significantly worse on-road. So, have you go tailgating, Tommy? Um, you know, Dad, I don't think I'm cool enough to go tailgating. Well, let me show you something, because obviously if you own a Gladiator, you have a tailgate, right? Right. Uh, this is a way to go tailgating if you own a Wrangler. Can I show you? All right, Tommy, now this isn't in production, but let us know in the comments if you like it, uh, because it's pretty darn cool. So there are these little whiskers that replace basically where you'd have your recovery hooks. And so you pull them out, and then check this out, Tommy. This bull bar, you pull a couple of pins and push this down. And guess what? <laughs> a tailgating we will go. How cool is that? It is cool. I like yeah, that a lot. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's a functional piece of design that not only protects the new grill here on this, like the, like the 20th anniversary style grill, but also, you know, makes it so that you can have a useful thing at a campsite or at a, uh, at a, a football game. And I also like the look of it. It's got a very like, um, um, uh, almost Mad Max style design here with the slots in the front, which are reminiscent of the seven. It's a cool look, but some other things we should talk about on the outside. These are fantastically cool fenders. I hope these make it into production. These flat fenders, very reminiscent of like the old CJ two A's, these little, um, round parts on the exterior here. And then of course you get still get the running lights, a little reflector, uh, the roof pods, I think are really cool, kind of match the squared off nature of the grill guard. These turns out are TJ mirrors. I wasn't crazy, I was right. And once again, this really neat dark blue against the saddle brown leather interior, all custom. And then coming along to the back, 
you can see the KMC dark bronze wheels, which is a nice contrast against the blue, and then the tire carrier, which now extends inwards. So this is where the departure concept gets its name. And the idea is that the tire carrier, of course, in a situation where you're going extreme off-road will be the first to hit, but look at this. That's a pretty cool idea. Yeah, and they also, get this, they also kept the camera. So that solves the issue with- Oh, and the chimsel. Yeah, how do you, how do you keep the, you know, the brake light and how do you keep the camera and how do you keep you know, a 37 inch wheel? Uh, and that's a really clever solution, I think. Yeah, you got the molly panels too on the side here. So lots of cool things that the Jeep folks are playing with. And I really hope we see that grill guard in production. And I really hope we see this in production too, because that's a really cool idea. All right, well, what a cool concept um, that the, the departure really brings some great things to the table, which I'm really excited about. You know, the team clearly has put a lot of effort and love into this vehicle, and I'm hoping that uh, it's previewing what you'll be able to buy through your Jeep dealer here shortly. And the great thing about all the, the JPP stuff, like it's designed by the same people, the guy behind me, um, that, that builds like your normal Jeep stuff, right? And they work in collaboration with the folks that do the suspension and the wheels, and so you know it's gonna last and it's gonna be good quality stuff. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. This has been Tommy. And Roman, actually there's a better thing, Tommy, than that. What's that? Well, you could buy this Jeep, right? And you could add all these parts and you could roll it into your loan. Yeah, you're financing, yeah, that's and, right. And it's warranty. It's cool. And if you guys wanna see some other concept, like for instance, that one right there, head on over to alltfl.com where we've got a full library of Jeep 2023 concept videos. All right, see you next time. Bye.